Always eat your ramen that way. <laughs> no, you see, money's been a little tight, so I was really psyched when I saw this hundred yen ramen. <laughs> you must be really strapped for cash, poor thing. Don't I know it? There are so many pretty things I just have to have. Mm. And all those pretty things always cost a pretty penny. What's a poor girl to huh? do? You're asking the wrong person. We're pretty broke ourselves. We thought we were pretty smart when we opened this place next to Police Town. We thought it'd give us lots of business. But the only customer we get in here is you. Now all my husband does is stand out there like a statue and glare at that stupid Neo-Tokyo Tower that's taking all our business away. At an astounding record height of 3,277 feet, the Neo-Tokyo Tower's function goes beyond that of a mere radio communications tower. It also manages economic and traffic data. Plus, it serves as an international information source and communication hub for national and international transmissions. The automated power code scrambler housed in the tower's pinnacle is what makes all this activity possible. The inclusion of the space dome in the space park for the pleasure of the average citizen makes the tower a place of entertainment and enjoyment for all. Especially all these wannabes who keep getting in my shot. Moreover, we are especially honored and pleased to announce that Governor Tatayama is in attendance here today. He was just released from the hospital after undergoing successful surgical treatment for stomach ulcers. Perhaps no one has awaited this day with greater anticipation than Governor Tateyama himself, who has been a driving force behind the tower's construction from the outset. A gala celebration commemorating this auspicious occasion is currently being held in the tower's main observation lounge. Notables from around the globe are here to offer heartfelt congratulations on this monumental achievement and to wish Governor Tateyama continued success and good health. Stay tuned for continuing live coverage from Neo Tokyo Tower. <laughs> Just two more hours, I can hardly wait. After the party is over, the doors will be open to the... And we will join the party guests in the observation lounge, I think. Uh, and see the beautiful view the tower has to offer. Ah, what are those things? Bug, help, help, please, not so what the hell are those please, things? Hi, what is it? What's wrong? Look at that. Over there. <gasps> what are those things? I don't know what's going on, but it looks bad. If it is, if it is. <laughs> Check, please, right away. Whoa, whoa. Well, uh, that's uh, 100 yen for the ramen and 450 for the dumpling plus tax. That makes it a... 526 yen, right? Here you go. Huh? Hey, wait!
it. Yes, sir. What the hell? What is going on here? <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? We are the political army known as the Dawn Mirage, and we have just seized control of Neo Tokyo Tower. Do as we say, and no one gets hurt. <laughs> This is Tokyo Bay TV with a late breaking news story. The newly completed Neo Tokyo Tower has been captured by a terrorist group who are calling themselves the Dawn Mirage. As of this report, there has been no communication from the terrorists. Police have surrounded the building and are awaiting further orders. Guests attending the party in the lounger are being held hostage. The terrorists utilize what appears to be modified narrow field devices, commonly known as drones, to surround the tower and incapacitate it. Wait, this was just handed to me. It says we are about to receive a communique from the terrorists. Is this thing on? <clears throat> we are the Dawn Mirage. The hostages are safe. However, if the following three demands are not met, I cannot guarantee they will remain so. One, we demand that all of our comrades currently incarcerated are to be freed. Two, to finance our operations, we will need one billion yen in unmarked bills. And three, we demand a large helicopter with a full tank of fuel. If our demands are not met within two hours, we will execute the hostages starting with the governor. <laughs> our drones may be small, but they pack quite a wallop. Allow me to demonstrate. The surrounding area is in complete chaos, and the entire world is watching as this drama unfolds. Should we fail to apprehend these criminals, the media outcry would be devastating. That's not an issue. Negotiations with the terrorists are currently underway. Oh, I see. We listen to their rantings. We accept their demands. We secure the hostages while they flee the country and escape arrest. The usual pattern. Oh well, at least you'll get credit for saving all those lives. Just what are you trying to say? Well, it's just that I can already see tomorrow's headlines. You know, tower jackers make clean getaway, percentage of arrests drop yet again for Tokyo police, chief of police held responsible... Okay, I get it. This is how much you need. Can you cut it by one zero? A joke, I presume? You really think you can do it? Within the two hours we've been allotted, piece of cake. It's showtime. Required elsewhere. Gotta go! <laughs> Just as I thought, the Mecha Drone's attack capability is restricted to a one kilometer radius around the tower. Interesting. See what else you can find out. Excuse me, Maki. I sure wouldn't mind getting my hands on one of those cute little bugs still intact. Sure, Nonville. So, Maki, tell me. Yes, Rio. Just what kind of pay are we talking about for this gig? <laughs> Buku bucks. You were attacked oh, by a yeah, yeah, she ate Miss Neo Tokyo Tower for nothing! <laughs> Look at that balcony! <laughs> Please, not now! The battery! I know I brought the extra oh, battery! Oh, Hideo, it's you're so hard and long! <laughs> Just a little while and I'll let you shoot your whole load, I promise! <sighs> huh? Maya here! Right, I'm ready to go when you are. Just say the word. First, I'll use the launcher. Huh? 
You didn't stand by! Oh, I'm gonna burst if I don't shoot soon! Patience, Maya. We're still assessing the situation. <laughs> Why am I stuck out here playing Butterfly Collector? Hey, Rio, be careful. You might make one of those things explode. Uh? You know I admire your bravery. Walking around with no protective suit? <laughs> I'd be way too scared to do that. No one told me about the bug bombs. Oh, I guess I kind of forgot. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time that you forgot to... to oh. <laughs> Excited there, big fella. Okay, freeze frame. Mm -hmm. Search for matches in the database. Ha, ah, we got him. Blackmail, peeping Tom, walking out on restaurant bills. This guy has a criminal record, but they're all minor offenses. He's pretty small potatoes. I agree. Hmm, so how does a small-time crook like him know how to use such hardcore technology? Listen, punk! Do you honestly think you're going to get away with this outrage? I demand that you release all the hostages and turn yourselves in, or there'll be hell to pay. Are you listening to me? No, it's not a very good idea to get yourself all worked up, Governor. You might activate the drone self-destruct system, and we wouldn't want that to happen, now would we? That's better. Please, make yourself comfortable. <laughs> Normally, these drones are task-oriented and have little offensive capability. Here's the problem. The detonator to the explosives is linked with the detonators in all other drones. In other words, if one goes off, it causes a chain reaction in all the others. Yep. What about their internal batteries? I'd say there's about 12 hours worth of juice left. So we just can't wait it out. Well, we can take out the entire swarm if we fire one big pulse shot and fry all the circuitry. That's out of the question. This is supposed to be highly classified information. The surgical procedure the governor underwent had nothing to do with his ulcers. It was actually an artificial heart transplant. For security reasons, the media was told it was ulcer surgery. So if we fire off a pulse shot... There's a good chance the governor's artificial heart would stop functioning. Can we reconfigure the pulse so it doesn't affect the heart's monitors? But the weakened signal might cause the outlying drones to react. <clears throat> So what's the problem? If the public doesn't know about the governor's heart thingy, we can go ahead and fire off a pulse shot. If the old boy drops dead... Well, it's not like we knew anything about it. True, but I'm sure the governor will give us a much bigger reward if we get everyone through this safely. Money and much more. What kind of goods are we talking? Well, he'll owe you his life. You're beautiful and single. He'll probably ask you to marry his son. <laughs> She bought it. Yeah, but well, Lucky is really good. Response. It's just as we thought. The terrorists' biosuits are transmitting a strong anti-drone interference signal. Continue as we planned. Yuji, get out of the pulse shot's effective range and stand by. Roger. Maya, get into position and get ready to fire the shot. Roger! Rio, how far away are you? 100 meters from the tower's central elevator. Hmm. 
<laughs> Composite imaging completed. Yuji here. I'm in position. Maya here. I'm all set up to kick some ass. The time is up, isn't it? Yeah, it ran out about ten minutes ago. Are you sure this is gonna work? Of course it will. We have plenty of hostages, and if worse comes to worse, we can always... Greetings, <laughs> gentlemen. Police Town Communication Center here. Hey. What the hell's going on? We have met your first demand. All of your fellow criminal, I mean, compatriots, have been set free. Hey. Also, we've not only met your second demand, but we factored in the 17% consumer tax. This brings your sum to a grand total of 1,177,000,000 yen. Yes! <laughs> Rio here. We've made it to the central elevator. Proceeding to the observation lounge. Whoa! Ah! Here comes Mama! Get the lead out, Rio! I can't hold myself back much longer! And now, I'll be happy to update you on the current status of your third demand. The helicopter is landing in police town even as we speak. While the helicopter is being refueled, your comrades are being seated and your money loaded on board. We are proud to offer you round-the-clock dining from the onboard gourmet chef. Hope you boys are in the mood for steak. This is Nanville. I'm set to go. <laughs> this is Rio. Let's get rich. As a special one-time bonus, we are also including all three Miss Neo Tokyo Towers to serve as flight attendants during your long flight. Cheesecake for dessert, anyone? Other onboard services include a theater, a casino, a sports center, Okay, a you sauna, can fire at will, Maya. Let's rock and roll! to bring this thing. Uh, don't, don't you, you think you should be getting, getting the, the governor, governor to the hospital? Oh, I almost forgot. I'm coming, Papa. Papa? What the heck do you mean, Papa? But Rio? How's he doing? Well, his heart rate is stable. Now all we need to do is get him to a hospital. Oh, that's great. I better freshen up my makeup so I look good. His son is going to be my fiance, you know. We're going to have a big <laughs> Rio, and the then thing we're is, go the governor doesn't have then... one. The governor doesn't uh, have a son, only uh, a daughter. A daughter? Rio, what are you doing? Uh, does it look like uh, I'm doing? Stop, uh, stop it, Rio! You you can't. Why not? I risk my life so I can uh, save him and marry his Rio, son and stop die. It. Find out he doesn't even have a son. Rio, stop! Have a son? What a crook! Oh, Rio, stop. Rio, you are stop. scaring me. I was supposed to know about his heart thing. Rio, stop! We raise our taxes. I said we pack up our Rio, hair. Rio, please! Oh no, yeah. Not a buzz out of those bees. The peacekeeping squad has the tower under control. Oh, I wanted to blast those creeps and all I got was one lousy shot. Maki, next time I want to lay down some lead. All right, Maya. <laughs> next time we better let Maya blow something up or she'll be the thing that explodes. Did you say something, Lulika? No, no not, not a, a thing. thing. 
Hey, you pasty-faced pencil pushing pig! Listen up! You better get rid of that consumer tax or I'm gonna climb down there and unplug you myself! Yeah, and tell him to bring back those tight shorts the girls used to wear in gym class. Hear that, Governor? This is your loyal public speaking! Wake up and smell the coffee! <laughs> transmitted at the point of interruption. The pulse shot may have destroyed our drones, but it also activated the safety mechanism in the code. If the logic system core function is restored, 68% of the data will be automatically transmitted to our systems. Our main objectives have been accomplished, and I don't foresee any problems that will keep us from proceeding as planned. Our little songbirds have been set free. I don't think they'll be singing anytime soon. I can't believe we finally have some customers! <laughs> I know, honey. Five orders of ramen and dumplings, please. Coming, Coming right, right up. up! Looking good, Rio, baby! Is Rio hire something? She's being generous. When Rio went to give Maki hell about that whole governor's son thing, Maki gave her a little something to soothe her wounds. Huh? Oh, I get it. A big green band-aid. I bet the governor skips running for re-election this year. Man, there's nothing like a cold beer after you kick someone's ass. Here you go. Enjoy. Awesome, thanks. You guys are going to love this. Thanks, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Rome. Well, where have you two been all day? The Neo Tokyo Tower. It was ginormous. There were lots of cops around, and they kept telling us to stay away. But we stuck past them, and then we found this bug, and we put it in a box and brought it home. <gasps> oh, bug! <laughs> money to everyone and their dogs. Man, am I in a pinch this time. Ugh. I swear, if this keeps up, I'm gonna have to rob a bank. Serial underwear thefts? That's right. It's the only case in the Warrior file. Come on, there's gotta be something else. I think it's right up your alley. Take it or leave it. Mom I know you've got something better in there. Something juicy with a big payoff. Hey, are you keeping all the good cases for yourself? What are you hiding? Well, apparently the thief only steals the brassieres of especially attractive young women. Oh, man, this is 
problem is, truck. the women themselves are uncertain as to the exact number of brassiers that have been taken. I know it's not very exciting, times. Rio, but right now this is the only case we have. What Some women are calling in false reports of brassier theft. Anyway. Though filing a false report is only a minor offense, these victim wannabes are attracting public attention. One officer should be able to handle this on their own, so I guess you'd get to keep all the money. Whoa! That wouldn't suck! But on the other hand, it's just a bunch of stupid underwear thefts. I mean, come on. Why do I always get stuck with all the crap work? What is the major holdup here? It's been an entire month since the first jewel heist, and we still haven't gotten anywhere on this case! Uh, oh, oh. These will help you spell relief, sir. The problem is these heists are always taking place during a fire outbreak. Yeah, and? If we seal off the exits, we might catch the crooks, but we might kill some people, too. Yeah, and? Sounds like arson to me. No comments from the rookie. Ow, ow, ow! Don't just sit there. Go get me an alcohol, sir! <laughs> Hurry! Move, rookie! I, I gotta go do some stuff down with the guy at the thing and you're busy, busy working! Gotta work, boy! Ah, my detective is a moron. The rookie won't tend to my ulcer, and the guys upstairs are clamoring for an arrest! Gee, I'm really sorry, sir. Hello, criminal investigation here. Oh, ch ch chief Well, I guess it sucks to be Rio. I hate to leave her out, but she's already working on a case. <laughs> Man, the gadgets that Nonville makes always look like thrift store rejects. This fugly thing better work. Yeah, this thing is tight! What does she think I am, an A cup? Uh, pinch equals opportunity! <laughs> oh, hey, I better put away my Hello Kitty panties. Ta da! My super deluxe underwear thief trap is ready! Come and get your boulder holders, it's showtime! Hey, doggy, piss off. <laughs> Like the rat is going for the cheese. <laughs> oh, I feel dirty. He wants to make me dirty. So, still trying to get into college, huh? <laughs> I guess the stress of studying for my college entrance exams kind of got to me, huh? Seems like you found a way to blow off some steam. Uh, maybe. Although, I gotta say, I'm kind of impressed you managed to get so many. I mean, just laying them out like this is a job in itself. Yeah, the stress of the entrance exams really must have got to me. I said seems like you found a way to blow off some steam. Uh, now that you mention it, I sure wouldn't mind getting my hands on that sweet little push-up you got there. How about it, detective? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's shaking, Rio? What do you want, UG? I'm in the middle of something here. I'm down with that. Far be it from me to interrupt an expert. I just wanted to stop by and see if my strap for cash girlfriend, Rio, wanted to go out for a fancy lunch. <sighs> UG, you get the strangest ideas. Uh, detective, should I leave you two alone? Hey, I said it was a strange <gasps> idea, okay? Wow, nice collection. <gasps> Where'd you get this? You certainly have discerning taste. You must be a fellow leg man. Great gams on that girl, huh? Like two sick little peas in a pod. 
Todd. Real baby, you're the smartest. Um, I am? Uh, you're not supposed to be in here. Lilica will kill me if she finds out. Can't you wait till she's back from lunch? Eugene, what are you doing? There, open that file. Okay. These are clips from the jewelry store security camera that I had- <gasps> I mean, that were enlarged for investigative purposes. I know those legs. So what's it mean? It means that it's the same person. This same woman has been present for every jewel heist so far. Yuji, please, how can you be certain it's even the same pair of legs? Because when Lilica was analyzing these files, I was paying extra special attention. <sighs> Dumbass. Actually, I think your friend might have mm -hmm. something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All we have to do is create a 3D model of the scanned photo and compare. Yep, they all match up. So is it the same person or not? Well, I can't say for sure. I <gasps> stake my life on it! it. A leg lover knows his limbs! Mr. Undy Thief? Well, Mr. Officer, a, a leg, leg lover is hard to find! Hey, freaks! Huh? Someone better tell me what's going on. Uh, nothing! <laughs> Just a case the rest of us are working on. Hey, what are you guys doing here? Huh? <gasps> Oh, hi there! We, we were, were just, just leaving! leaving. Uh, you know, we were just looking up some <laughs> stuff, you know, nothing major. We'll just be leaving now. See you later, bye. What has she been smoking? <laughs> Why so stressed? Hacker boy. Oh, I get it now. So you see, Rio, this case got handed to us after you were already working on the underwear thefts. I told Maki to include you, but she said you were busy. Oh. Okay. Huh? But don't tell anyone else I know about the case, got it? Okay, but I... Well, split the payoff, then you're going to treat me to an expensive dinner at the Bay Platin Hotel. Sure, why not? And then... And then what? In our own private royal mason and suite, daybreak, cafe... Oh, yeah, cafe au lait daybreak, I love coffee. In our own... Private sweet a daybreak cafe oh lay And I want you to show me where I can find this legendary leggy chick. Well, what's it worth to you? Hmm, playing hardball. You leave me no choice. I'll give you the bra that I'm wearing, okay? What do you say? <laughs> Morning coffee with my lovely Rio. <laughs> well, you certainly uh, are chipper today, uh, Eugene. Uh, um, yeah, I guess. You'd like to come to work for our little establishment? Hmm? Yeah. Well, you know you have impeccable taste. My establishment is one of the finest in the area. Right. So, do you kids dance or do you do something else? Huh? Oh, oh God, God, no, no nothing, nothing like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Freak, you never said this was a transvestite bar. Must have slipped my mind. Wow, <laughs> look at those gorgeous hands. Let's take it for a test drive. <laughs> Honey, you're gonna do just fine here. The other girls are just going to love you. <laughs> um, thanks. So, do you like photographing women's legs even if they don't belong to women, huh? Rules of collecting. The weirder it is, the more it's worth. Yeah, you really are a freak. You and Yuji are even more alike than I thought. Wow, your skin is even more beautiful up close. You're so flawless and smooth, like a baby. Oh, man, I am so real. So, have you told us everything, Eugene? Think really hard. Man, I am so in hell. I told you everything, Maya, I promise. Are you sure this signal is from Rio's homing device? Certainly looks like it. Maki! Leave the idiotic horn dog alone and get me the directional mic. Sure thing. Maki! Uh, looks like no romantic dinner. 
No night of sin, and no cafe au lait at daybreak for this poor prisoner of war. <laughs> poor me. Directional mic in place. Okay, assume observational positions. Your eyes are so gorgeous, they're simply to die for. Huh? Oh, thanks. So you want to be my steady girl? That's a guy! Ah, wait, you stop touching me! Ah, uh -huh, faked you out. Touchdown! <laughs> oh, I think I'll go for the extra point. Oh, God, you are both the biggest Amazing! Huh? Those are the most incredible breasts I've ever felt. Soft and supple, just like the real thing. Oh, well, you know, I got a little work done in Morocco. Beautiful. Ah. <laughs> I won't huh? have any of those filthy customers touching you. Those I'll are the legs we're looking for. <laughs> oh, I can just see it now. You'll be waiting for me every night when I get home. We'll drink martinis and try on each other's <laughs> underwear. Gotta go, Dinkle. Everything is ready. We'll meet at the usual place. Good. See you there. They disguise themselves as firemen and steal the jewels during the commotion. That's right, baby doll. <gasps> oh. oh, crap. <laughs> wow, you both have such smooth skin. <laughs> Rio! So why isn't the mic picking up her signals anymore? They must have gone underground or something. Say something! I don't care if she's under six feet of dirt. I say we go in there and blast the crap out of them. Not yet. We need to get a better fix on the situation first. Sorry to make you wait. This thing is bigger than I thought. Bye, Bye boys. Have a good day. Uh -oh. <laughs> Looks like the bar is closing. I know, but we Bye. still need a better fix on the situation. This batch is especially high quality. So I see. We all worked really hard. Thank you for your efforts. Your fees are all taken care of. I put them in your usual account. Verify. Pleasure doing business with you. Be sure and get rid of those two. She can be a very troublesome girl. Put a sock in it, Yuji. We still need to wait a little while longer. Ta-da! Presenting my latest invention created for just such situations as this. Huh? What's that? <laughs> Ultra miniature beetle type robot huh? equipped for infiltration probing and reconnoitering of inaccessible areas. This is prototype number GB06R. Meet Mechanical Pink Cockroach. I call him Little Pinky for short. Hey! Isn't he just the cutest? No one will ever notice a little cockroach on the wall. Oh, are you kidding? That thing is pink! Cockroaches are supposed to be blonde! Oh, no, 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 no! I want it to be pink! I don't care! Just get it the hell out of here! Ugh. You are completely useless, you know that? Yeah, I know. Get off me! Stop touching me! Shake it, baby! You look fabulous! Hey, thanks! <laughs> Here's the Scoopy Poopy. You two hang in there until your arms get tired. And when they do, Mr. Circular Saw will be here waiting to break your fall. Well, thanks for the offer, but I'm gonna be here for a while. My arms could really use the workout! <laughs> It'll be fun to see how long you can hang on. Well, sweet cheeks. It'll be sad seeing you go. Adieu, Stephanie. Hey, don't give me any pet names. This is Silver Eagle. The transaction has been completed. 
I was extremely careful. Those idiots think we just run some kind of minor smuggling operation. Miss Rio, I can't hold on much longer. <laughs> Hello? Are you aware of the alternatives? That's okay. At least I'll die with my face in your ample bosom. <laughs> hey, you leave my ample bosom out of this. My sweet feisty Stephanie. <clears throat> Everyone, I'd like to thank you for all your hard work. When we're done here, we can decide where to go for our company trip. Girls, we've got enough loot to go to the friggin' moon if we want to. I vote we go to Morocco and get sex changes. Morocco! Morocco! All right, it's unanimous then. The first Barakemi Company trip will be the Moroccan sex change farewell to manhood tour. The operation is a go, everyone. All right, let's go, Yuji. But, but, it's right on... The feed from Little Pinky is being recorded. I'll show it to you later. Really? I'll pay you anything you want. Anything at all. Yuji, <laughs> your precious Rio is in trouble. Are you going or are you staying here? Why well, would be, Yuji? <laughs> What's the matter, Miss Rio? <laughs> Pinky is going to cut the rope, and if everything goes according to our plan, you'll live to tell this story to your grandkids. Oh, and if you open up his little wings, Pinky becomes a little hand grenade. You let me get into this pinch, then you use this robobug to monitor me and crawl all over my body? No, oh, you really have it rough, Miss Rio. What did you say? <laughs> I'm coming for you, Rio. Hurry up, you stupid bug! Is it little Pinky the cutest thing you ever saw? No, it's gross! Rio, I'm almost there! Will you hurry up? I can't wait to get those yeah. bastards to let Enema! Miss Rio, I can't hold on much longer! Hey, if you let go, I'm gonna kick your ass! Cafe Olay at daybreak! Cafe Olay! Never! I always say Pinky was opportunity! Keep on smiling! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sweet feisty Stephanie! Uh, I think this might be it! Let go! Let go! Let go! Let go! Boys. Nobody move! You're all under arrest, you freaks! Rio, we're here! It's about time! I came to save you, Rio! I really hate to do this, but go get them, girls! <laughs> oh, sweet Stephanie, I'm going to kill you with my own two hands, so no other man will get his dirty little paws on you. Rio! <laughs> Give it your best shot, fruitcake. Rio, help me! Get him out of me, Get him out of me, Hey, freak, you still got your third leg down there? Why? Do you want to play with it before I kill you? Sure, <laughs> let's play cake I should have gone to Morocco sooner. <laughs> what beautiful legs! You're gonna tear my support hose! Oh, I wanted to do more shooting! <sighs> Here you go, Rio. All the bills from our mission. Why are you giving those to me? Because we spent all this money coming to your rescue. And you destroyed my little pinky. And I didn't get to hardly shoot anything! Wait your turn! Hey, more importantly, do you remember your promise? Huh? Oh. Here you go! Daybreak Cafe Ole! Huh? Oh. See you later! Sucker. So, I guess this means no romantic dinner either! <laughs> <laughs> what a waste. All these pretty little baubles. 
just raw material for an experiment. I might as well enjoy them while I can. Oh man, back to part-time jobs again. <sighs> well, I got that set of bra and panties you promised me, Miss Rio. Remember, pinch equals opportunity. Keep smiling. Good luck to you. I'll put a sock in it, freak boy. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on here? And who the hell are you, you big bunch of freaks? Welcome to dead hell, young Rio. Until you pay back every last little penny you owe us. You will remain here at our mercy. Uh-oh. But see, I don't have any money right now. Sorry, <laughs> maybe later. That's okay, you can pay with your sweet young body instead! I will pay the maiden's debt. Really? You mean it? it? You cowardly vultures! Are you all right, fair maiden? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're beautiful. Really? <laughs> I've loved you since the moment I saw you. Please be my partner. Just sign on the dotted line, okay? Oh, it's a marriage contract, right? No, silly. It's a loan contract. <laughs> Don't forget to send those monthly payments of 40,000 yen. See you later, partner. You know, the 70% really is a wonderful rate. Hey, that's not fair. Uh, I'm back here. Uh, hey, I'm waiting. <laughs> I am waiting for those reports! They were due last Thursday, Rio! Right! That's why I've been slaving away! Busy, busy, busy! Sorry, I can't talk to you now! I gotta get my work done! Working, working, working! Busy, busy, busy! Ooh, yeah. <sighs> Even my dreams owe people money! The plane of Executive hmm? Vice President Hassan of the Kingdom of Arabia's largest oil company, UPEC, has just landed here in Japan. The Desert Prince has arrived. <gasps> That's him! This is Executive Vice President Prince Hassan. That is his secretary, Abisham, who has requested we provide protection for the prince. Upon his arrival in Japan, Prince Hassan received a letter. It was from a group that calls itself Thunderstorm, and they threatened to kill him. Thunderstorm? Yes, a group of mercenaries that's been linked to subversive activities in Arabia's civil war. Abisham's investigations have revealed a link between Thunderstorm and the Sinbad Combine, UPEC's main rival corporation. But why target the vice president? The president is old and sick. Without his son Hassan to carry the torch, the UPEC group will collapse. Leaving the Sinbad Combine virtually unchallenged. If news of an attack were to become public, the civil war would escalate. Failure's not an option on this mission. We've got it covered, sir. I won't even get to use my handgun! Bodyguard duty blows! You said it. Hey! Keep your chins up, girl! Wow! I thought you would bitch about the low pay. Honey, we are guarding a petroleum god here! This boy is worth hundreds of billions! Besides, maybe we'll get our rewards plus a little extra on the side! Uh. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe my dream will come true! As I am sure you've been informed, sir, Team Warrior will be providing extra protection during your stay in our country. Yes. Get ready to meet your destiny! Huh? Pretty girl. <laughs> Pretty girl. What did you say? Especially your legs! They're like two long cactuses growing in the desert! Oh. Hey! I never got to fondle Rio's legs! Get off! What are you thinking? And you are all so beautiful. Please have dinner with me, please! Lucky, what's going on? <clears throat> huh? 
Uh, sir, if I can steal you away for a moment, we have to go over some paperwork. Uh, you know those things bore me. Why don't you read them over for me, Abisham? Oh, and you are also exquisite. It's like you my own little Japanese hell. Easy, Leo. Down, and you. Yes. Those glasses are so sexy. <laughs> Excuse me, Executive Vice President Prince Hassan. May I remind you that we are here to guard your body, not to service it. Oh, wow! You Japanese babes sure are feisty. Oh. <sighs> yes, I've been a bad boy. What is the deal with that perverted freak? He's more like a nightmare come true. It's astounding that they let an idiot like that become vice president. Are you kidding? Someone in his position probably has a million secretaries who do all the work for him. You're probably right. I'm going to go patrol the grounds. Oh, hey, do you mind if I order us up some dinner? Knock yourself out. Get me an order of ramen with pork. Right. Man, how come I get stuck guarding a perverted freak like him? Don't even think about it. Put your hands behind your head, turn around and face me! <laughs> uh. Can I have two orders of ramen with pork sent to Neo Tokyo Hotel Security? You can take your time. I don't mind waiting. I'm gonna be here for a long time. Sector all secure? Oh, sector all secure. Wrong. I think that thunderstorm group must have found out that the prince is here. Go to code red. <laughs> this is Maya. There's no sign of Rio or Princess on anywhere. Are you okay? <laughs> right. Someone left the mannequin in the prince's hotel room. He's gone. It looks like he took off when the attack began. She didn't. Hmm? Yes, she did. She left her comm unit when she changed clothes. You imbeciles! Can't you tell the difference between a doll and a human being? I'm sorry, sir. Shift your frequency to 1999 and don't let them get away next time! Yes, sir. Roger that. So, this is a typical Japanese city. It's beautiful. The lights are like sparkling jewels. Come, let's go sightsee. Hang on a minute. What about that assassin that you said was after you, huh? Oh? Oh, well, that was just a lie. <laughs> a lie? That Abisham is such an old bore. I've been dying to go sightseeing in Tokyo, but he says it's much too dangerous and he won't allow it. So, I decided to take matters into my own hands. Do you have any inkling what a bad idea this is? You're a top-notch bodyguard, aren't you? As long as you're guarding me, everything should be just fine. That's not the point! You know, I'm famished. Do you know of any really good gourmet restaurants around here? This rich moron is gonna buy me the most expensive dinner I can think of! Oops, huh? I left my wallet at the hotel. I guess I'll have to pay you back later. Does this jerk really think I have any money? Well? I don't think this is gonna work. We can't go through every single street in Tokyo looking for them. Ryo, where are you? That was great! Good stuff! 
Ah, delicious. The blend of flavors was exquisite. You must give the recipe to my chef. Well, your dark prince sure knows how to pay a compliment, Miss Rio. So, where are you taking me next? Huh? Don't you think we should go back? Of course not. The night is still young. <sighs> Honey, I'm making a delivery. Okay, drive safely. I will. She's in there. Let's go. Not yet. This place is too close to police town. This is crazy! It'd be faster to go out and look for them myself! Be patient, Maya. We don't have any leads yet. But then what's gonna happen to Rio? Delivery! Hey, you're the officers that always drop in from police town. That's right. Can you please just set it down over there? Sure thing. Anything you say, ma'am. You know, I just saw Miss Rio over in my shop. <gasps> Rio? Our Rio? Sightseeing? I don't believe it! Well, that's what they said anyway. I thought something funny was going on. Long-range planning and evasion aren't exactly Rio's strong suits, you know. This isn't good. If any of the Thunderstorm agents see him out walking around, they'll know their assassination attempt failed. We've got to find those two fast. So basically, we're back where we started. Hang on. Maya, you found the Prince's wallet back in his hotel room, right? Mm-hmm. I'm changing our method of investigation. You two take an unmarked car and start asking around. Lilica, I want you to access all the shop security cameras in the area. We're looking for entertainment that costs less than ten dollars. My word! They were sighted at the pachinko parlor on 8th less than 30 minutes ago. I found them! It's a karaoke room on 22nd Street. They left about 10 minutes ago. Pachinko on 18th? Karaoke on 22nd? So they're heading for... This is Gasoline Town. It was originally a junkyard for the old gas-running cars after the new non-polluting vehicles were developed. Eventually, the people moved in and took it over. <laughs> you fight like a girl! Ow! You son of a... Miss Rio! Quit screwing around and get back to work! Hey, Miss Rio! Hmm? Why don't you come on over here and have a drink? Next time! You got a hot day, Rio? <laughs> Knock it off or I'll haul you in just for being stupid! Popular with them, aren't you, Miss Rio? Oh, I guess so. They're used to seeing me around. I try to help them out when I can. It's like family. You know, I like it here. This place? Yeah. Well, at least everything's cheap here, I guess. Here you go. Oh, awesome. Everyone here is so happy with their lives. I guess so. But I'm sure the life of an oil magnate doesn't suck either. Take my word. It's not all it's cracked up to be. I've got a bunch of yes-men kissing up to me day and night. They feed me gourmet food in five-star restaurants. But behind their smiles, they're all just licking their chops and eyeing my wallet. I would give anything just to be a normal, happy guy. Wow, that's pretty serious stuff coming from a perverted sex maniac. <laughs> Here, take a drink. It's good stuff. <laughs> God, what did you get me? It's Gasoline Town's famous Nitro Punch. It's home-style brew that's 90% alcohol. Hey, can we get five or six more bottles? Coming right up. What? Special discount. Take ten. <laughs> I'll never eat anywhere else. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you. Not unless you want to torch this scrappy. Huh? Yes, I've just received word that they have captured Prince Hassan. Please allow me to express my gratitude. We got here too late! How did the others find them so fast? I find your performance very disappointing. I presume you've already made inquiries to the Sinbad Combine. No, we haven't yet. I am appalled by your lack of action. I must go attend to some business, but I expect to find the Vice President here upon my return. Lilica, get me all the data that you have on the Sinbad Combine. Wait, Mr. Abisham. Hmm. Some lint on your coat. Thank you. 
I think this is Nonville's area of expertise. It's a transmitter. Why does he have a transmitter in his passport? War-torn Arabia is crawling with spies. It was probably developed as a security measure against forged passports. The Prince's abductors have been following the signal transmitted by Hassan's passport. But there's nothing about that in the police databank. It must be a state secret. Only a handful of Arabian officials would know about it. I got it. There's a number of undercover transactions recorded in a covert file. Check the records for key players. Nonvil, can you get a beat on Hassan's current position? Sure thing, Maki. Adjusting frequency. Um, found him. But that's in the ocean. Ocean? Well, Rio, you certainly seem happy enough. Damn straight. This has turned into a kidnapping. We're talking serious bucks here. Uh, never cease to amaze me. Huh? Well, well, well. Greetings, Vice President. Abisham! Now I understand it all. The time has come for us to part. Here's the tanker! Hurry! I bought it! Your indifference to corporate matters has been quite helpful. After you disappear, I only need to get rid of your father, the President, and I will be the new Petroleum King of Arabia! You bastard! There is a bomb hidden in the center of this tanker. It is set to detonate in 30 minutes. A time bomb? This just keeps getting better and better! I don't care if you kill me, but at least spare the lives of the crewmen working on this tanker! I'm afraid they'll have to be sacrificed in the name of corporate expansion. Don't worry. We'll be convincingly shocked and outraged when we hear the news. <laughs> Ugh, I can't believe how arrogant and foolish I've been. Because I thought it was boring, I let my company fall into the hands of that greedy bastard. Now, because of my carelessness, innocent people are going to die. Huh? Leo, what are you doing? Whining isn't gonna get us anywhere! We need to take some action! I agree, but Leo, that door is six inches thick! So are you just gonna sit there and let these people die? Leo... Okay, that's the helicopter! I'll walk from here! See you back in the station! You're up, Osamu! It's showtime! You pick group will soon be mine. I'll pay you your share as promised. Well, looky here. Looks like someone's got a broken tail line. Keep your money. Such a paltry sum doesn't interest me. The fall of the Upek group will prolong the civil war in Arabia. Both the government forces and the rebels will be more than happy to buy the arms we've developed. Goodbye. Huh? Oh, but I didn't even get to fire a single shot! <sighs> but why? Just shut up and do it, okay? <sighs> oh, it's that nitro punch from Gasoline Town. here in port, it's going to kill everyone on the docks! I've got to get it further out to sea! Oh.
Vice President Hassan was killed during the explosion. Vice President Hassan was able to escape the tanker before the bomb exploded what? and remains unharmed. <sighs> Thank you. You've helped me see that I need to be a true leader for the UPEC group. Well, good luck. No words will ever be able to express my gratitude, but I'd be honored if you would accept a small present. Ah, a present? Yes, I'd like you to have 500 acres of my country's land. Well, well how big is 500 acres? Oh, uh, the Neo Tokyo Dome is one acre. <laughs> What exactly are we talking about here? Residential or farmland? Well, it's in the middle of the desert. <laughs> the desert? That's right. It's called the Sand Road. Nothing but sand as far as the eye can see. <laughs> Thanks, but you could just treat me to some ramen next time instead. <laughs> I can't believe you turned down Hassan's offer. What was I going to do with a bunch of sand dunes anyway? The Sand Road contains all the major oil fields in Arabia. He would have been a multi-billionaire. Somebody stop that plane! Man, am I beat! That last perp was unbelievable! When did criminals get to be such creeps? Well, there's only one way to shake this feeling! I'm right behind you, Rio! Oh, brother, not again! Are, Are you, you wussing, wussing out, out Lilica? Um, Heck no, I'm ready for an all-nighter. Maya, ready, ready for karaoke? <gasps> What's up, Maya? She didn't get to blow up anything today either. She looks like she's gonna explode. How long has it been now? 35 days. That long? And she hasn't fired off any big ammo? Worse than that, she hasn't even gotten to draw her gun. Hey, take it easy. Now, there's no need for arguing. What the hell are you doing? Go get him out of here! I was just delivering this telegram from Maya. Who in the hell still sends telegrams? Oh. Anything juicy, Maya? It's been a long time since I've been home. You want to be a cop? Don't be ridiculous! I won't have a member of my family working for the law! Please, sir. It's been her dream to be an officer, ever since she was a little girl. Idiot! Get her out of here! She is never to set foot in this house again! Maya, I'm so sorry. I wish there was some way we could change your father's mind. Deep down, he's actually very worried about you. Unfortunately, that's the only way he knows to express his feelings. I know you'll make an outstanding police officer. Good luck, Maya. Osaka. It's nice to be home. Maya! Huh? It's Bob! Hey, you made it! Welcome home! You sure are a sight for sore eyes. <laughs> it's good to be home. You know, I almost didn't recognize you. Why not? Well, it looks like somebody got a visit from the titty fairy. Ow! Well, at least your attitude hasn't changed. You know, your being home again should really perk up your dad. You perk him up? Oh, I thought dad was critical. Um, yeah. But seeing you should make him happy enough to beat any stinking illness. Oh, right. So, what's wrong with him? Hey, you know the old gang is happy as clams that you're here. Though I gotta say, you sure have gotten all Tokyo on us, Maya. Huh? <laughs> you really think so? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Hey! Ow! Not Gondo Construction again! When you get back to your office, you tell him I ain't leaving my shop! Uh, Are you listening to me? Oh, how dry I am! Now let's not get excited here! You put a sock in it! Yes, ma'am! What on earth happened here? Am I seeing right? It's Maya Jingu! 
Well, it's been quite a long time, huh? How you been, sweetie? <laughs> I'm doing great. <laughs> hmm? What are you looking at? Uh, <laughs> looks like someone got a visit from the Titty Fairy. <laughs> well, at least your attitude hasn't changed. So anyway... All joking aside, back, back to, to the, the point! point. Making a big production out of everything as usual. Was this an advertising stunt? Nah, it was those damn real estate men. Real estate men? Yeah, real estate men. So even in this digital age, we're still having land wars? Yep. Those red bastards over at Gondo Construction have targeted every shop on this street. Gondo Construction? <laughs> what a crap name. Yes, Gondo Construction Company. Won't the police help you? The police aren't worth the dog dirt on my shoe. They're on Gondo's payroll, if you catch my meaning. Hey, get back here! <laughs> this isn't over yet! Not by a long shot! Damn! That little snot sack runs a truck into my shop and the police help him get away with it! I remember this place being a lot bigger. Well, our little syndicate has had its share of troubles. I'm home, Mother. I'm home, Father. <clears throat> Hello, Tommy. Welcome back to Osaka, Maya. Welcome. And hello to you, Bob. Hey. Ken. Hi. And Yamada. Uh... I apologize to you for my lengthy absence. Welcome, Welcome home, home, Maya. Maya. Welcome. Welcome. Hey, what was that for? Come here. Welcome, Welcome home, home, Maya. I'm so sorry, Maya. Lately, Gondo Construction has moved in on our turf, leaving the house in this pitiful state. It's a disgrace. And now, your father! <laughs> we never should have allowed this to happen. I see. Tell me, Dan, how are you feeling today? <laughs> easy, boss. This is the worst coughing fit he's had so far. Take it easy, sir. Damn it! If he only had his health back! Well then, what did the doctor say? Easy, boss. This is the worst coughing fit he's had so far. Damn it! If he only had his health back! So, what exactly is wrong with him? Easy, boss! Don't go into the night! Damn it! If he only had his health back! Maya, do you think uh, maybe you could come back to Osaka for good? Gee, I don't know. Maya, my child. Yes, father? You seem so Tokyo these days. Huh? Oh! <laughs> you really think so? <laughs> I don't know about that. And... <laughs> Looks like someone had a visit from the Titty Fairy. Gondo Construction! Oh, I am still dry. It's the same guy. My masterpiece. Man, they're not even trying to be subtle. <laughs> it looks like the Jingu Syndicate is running through a little trouble. I think I might be able to help you out if you're amenable to it. How tacky. Just who the hell are you? We demand to know. Oh, how tacky. <laughs> My masterpiece. Not that we are worthy of an introduction. However, we are known as... However, we are known as... What are you doing? Don't you do digital business card exchange? No, nope. we don't even have a computer. I see. So, the backwards-ass Jingu Syndicate isn't even digital business card capable. That's too bad. What, what was that? that? We'll have to do this the old-fashioned way. We are known as... Osaka's Bright, Bright Star, Star of Love! Love. It's Gundo Construction! What the hell do you want? Whoa! Oh. My masterpiece! 
Now that's tagging. Oh, my masterpiece! Our mission at Gondol Construction is to make efficient use of land that is not being utilized to its maximum potential. Rumor has it that the Jingu Syndicate's base of operations has shrunk recently, has it not? As I offered before, I think it would be best for everyone involved that you hand full control of the Syndicate and all of its assets over to Gondol Construction. Now that huh? is a masterpiece. Uh, <laughs> look how much you've grown, Maya. I'm sorry I haven't told you yet, Maya. Actually, the boys don't know it, but we may have to sell out. Osaka's bright star of love is Gondo Construction. I see. It's like this, Maya. Gondo Construction is using their money to throw their weight around all over Osaka. I see. Osaka's bright star of love. I can't believe those Gondo goons were stupid enough to leave this behind. I think it wants something. Yamada, you're a gamer, ain't you? No, I ain't. I just play every once in a while. So are we just gonna sit back and let Gondo Construction take over the Jingu Syndicate? No, of course not. Ah, come on. You used to go apes not over that student video game thing. The hot and sexy transfer student, wasn't it? Ah! Yeah. Ah. Yeah, but I only played 13 ah. times. That's more than enough. So Gondo has the police on his payroll and is shooting dirty pool. There's gotta be something we can do. Well, we're trying. Somehow, I've gotta keep Gondo from getting his hands on the Jingu Syndicate. Right, How about Gondo Construction? Wrong again, stupid jerk. I'm trying my best. If they lose the house, I'll have no home to come back home to. You know, if only we could stop that sorry old geezer. That ain't gonna work, you big dummy. Well, I'll be damned. Hey, I found something. Of all the knife! Now I get it. When the airship the Emperor Ivan arrives in Osaka, they're gonna auction off smuggled weapons. Oh. So Gondo's huh? been auctioning off smuggled arms and lining his pockets the whole time. Now I get it. Hey, we need to do something to try and... Stop Gondo! More accurately, we're going to steal all their guns and money. It's so big! <laughs> Ivan is so large and enormous. Yeah, pretty much what you'd expect from Russia's top luxury airliner. Security is probably insanely tight. How are we gonna get in? Oh, very tight security indeed. Indeed. How are we gonna get in? That's where I come in. I think not. Looking good, boss. With this combination electric guitar slash stun gun that Maya's friend Manny made, nothing's gonna stop me now! Looking good, boss! That's Nonville, dumbass. You look like a prom date reject. It's not fair! I'm the one who got her to make the weapons, and I get stuck with this lame-ass Samusen smokescreen thing! Looking good, Maya! You're hardly one to talk about outfits. Right then, let's go! Like I said, how are we gonna get in? Hi. Hi. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> Soon the money and guns will be ours. Release the cradle locks. Increase the gas pressure by 17. Turbine ignition. The Emperor Ivan is airborne. Open the main duct. Initiate arrow mode. Mom. Maintain altitude at 5,000 feet. All right, ma'am, I believe you're safe to start now. Everything is right on schedule. Next item up for bid. This is the Russian-made PPSH-45, equipped with quick-change drum magazine. This is the improved version of the PPSH-41 employed by the former Soviet Union. The rate of fire is approximately 1,300 rounds per minute, and the stopping power has been more than doubled. We will start the bidding at 1 million yen for 50 units. 1.5 million! 2 million! 2.5! 7 million! Ooh. Anyone else? Then this item is sold to Mr. Gondo for 7 million yen. Congratulations! 
So, uh, what do we do next? Well, we seem to have made it on the ship okay. Yep, we're 500 feet in the air, so there's no turning back now. You got that right. Hey! This can is a limited edition collector's item! I have devised a plan. This is our current position aboard the airship. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I will remain here and secure this position while you five go search the rest of the ship. You got it! Right, right away! That's not a real plan, you morons! See you later, Maya! We're gonna go search the airship now! It's supposed to be a secret! Wow, an Egyptian port side. Just look at the smooth black finish on that baby. Well, you certainly know your pieces, old man. What are you, some kind of a gun nut? Hey! That's automatic weapons enthusiast. Mm, I can't believe no one has spotted us yet. Man! Hey, you over there. <clears throat> We're in the middle of an important auction over here. We don't need any loud distractions, so try to keep it quiet, okay, minstrel? Yes, ma'am. Huh? Dad, what are you doing drooling over that woman? Hey, excuse me. Huh? You're on. It's time for you to do your act. Let's go. Uh, time, time for our act? So what exactly are we supposed to be looking for, anyways? <laughs> Beats the hell out of me. Do so you mean we could just be walking around wasting our time? No, that's why we're not just walking, we're searching. <laughs> Whoa! It's the super rare, one in ten thousand, Shuri in a bikini can. <laughs> hey, Yamada, come on, quit screwing around! I'm coming! No! A Shuri in a bikini can! Ah! Oh, thank goodness. Huh? Okay, Maya. We're entertainers now. Okay, but I have no idea how. We'll be fine. Hmm? Leave it to me. Where have I heard that before? What? That bastard dumped you? All right, leave it to me. Where is that rotten punk? I'll turn his ass into Swiss cheese. Calm down, boss! No, that's not it. What? You fell off the swing set? Leave it to me! I'll blow that rotten playground to kingdom come! Calm down, boss! No, that's not it either. Ready to rock, Maya? No, not at all! We're a happy, comfy, cozy, carefree little family. We're a happy, comfy, cozy, carefree little family. And now my lightning fast tongue twisters! Oh, yeah! Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. She sells seashells down by the seashore. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck and a woodchuck could chuck wood? Hmm. Anyone for some melon? That comedy routine is too crummy to be real. I know I've seen those faces somewhere before. Now I've got it. You're those guys from the Jingu Syndicate. No, nope, not, not us. us. Must be someone else. else. And what's more? I've heard that the Jingu girl works as a cop in the Neo-Tokyo police town. Oh, crap. I'm leaving you in charge, Captain. It's in good hands, ma'am. Give my regards to Harry. But of course. Good work, Yamada. These must be the weapons they're gonna auction off. Wow, Maya is gonna have a field day with this stuff. That's for blowing my impeccable cover. Like, that was really hard. Now you're gonna get it. Go get them, boys. Yeah, you little piece of me! So, uh, where'd the boss go? Anyone see him? Huh? <laughs> oh, hey, boss! Hey, boss! Quit screwing around and come look what we found! Tommy! <laughs> hey, guys! Yeah! Where did you ever find this? There's more where that came from. All right, now I'm ready for anything! Leave it to me! Oh, please. Idiot! You can't join in this! You're a police officer! I know, but I... You leave with Tommy and the boys. This isn't your fight, Maya. You're in my world now. Yeah, but I... Don't you worry. Leave it to me. Hold on. Now I remember. It was when my mother died. I know you have many regrets, my love. But don't worry. Leave it to me. I'll take good care of Maya. Daddy! What's the matter? Daddy! 
Tommy, you and the boys go on ahead. I'm gonna stay here and help my father. We're going with you. Right. I thought we were gonna help the boss. Well, you know how Maya gets. Once she starts shooting, there's no stopping her. Number one runner is in up here! It's a much better use than you. Leave it to me. Have some peace around here. Huh? Oh, sorry, Maya. We look for the boss everywhere. That's okay. Don't worry about it. He's actually kind of shy when you get down to it. Yeah, I know. After all, he is my dad. Hey, please come home again soon, huh? I will. Look after the old man for me, okay? Goodbye, Maya! Barf up a lung listening to that crap. What, what do you say, Lilica? I'm ready when you are. Let's, Let's go out and have some fun. Maya, ready for karaoke? Huh? Oh, where did she go? I bet she went there again. She was pretty frustrated. Wait till Father's Day. Product is a Cyrex torpedo missile. This is a super stealth missile which uses a special polarizing compound. Miss Ruby, if you would please set a minimum price. Hurry it up, we don't have much time. Okay, you got Next it. Next you've got a camera rehearsal for TV Neo Tokyo. Okay. No! Oh. Huh? What's wrong? Anna! Oh. Huh? <laughs> that one's no good. That sucks too. Hey, Rio. 
Why don't you just give up already? Ah! Admit it! You came here tonight just to get on my nerves! No, I didn't. I was just trying to be nice and keep you company during your night shift, honest. Huh? Ooh, hey, it's Anna time! I'm Anna Kitagawa's biggest fan! Hmm. You think that tramp is talented? I can sing better than that! Look at me go, I can really rock and roll! I'm the sexiest girl in the whole wide world! Huh? What is your damage, Yuji? Oh. Department of Investigation! What? Anna Kitagawa received a death threat? Did you say Anna? You are my lovely songbird, and you are only meant to sing for me. If you sang for anyone else, it would be a mortal sin. A sin. <clears throat> <clears throat> Destiny has brought you to me, and now we will be together forever. Only I can save you from this world of vile sin. Hmm. Typical stalker. This whole thing didn't even start until about three months ago. At first, Anna got a bunch of phone calls. Then he got her address somehow and started sending her threatening letters with no stamp and no return address. And now this. What? You creep! I won't let you touch my Anna! Do you hear me? Never, never, never! Oh God, could you be any weirder? Would you two please knock it off and get to work? Anna's gonna be late for a rehearsal over at TV Neo Tokyo. Are you kidding at this hour? No, I'm not kidding. We have a 1 a.m. rehearsal for camera. I won't go. I won't. Anna, she's sweetie. She's even cute when she's all freaked out and mad, isn't she? Yeah, what do you want? Oh, well, hello there. I was just about to call you. Hey, Anna's sick and can't make the rehearsal. So sorry about that. But you know what? Tell you what, let's... Hey, take it. Listen, I understand that you're scared. After all, you're just a cute, helpless little pop singer. <laughs> well, don't you worry your pretty little head. We'll make sure that nasty stalker doesn't hurt you. Wow, thanks. I feel better already. And you even bought this helpless little pop star a drink. Unfortunately, I can't drink the kind with sugar in it. It makes you fat, you know. <laughs> what the? What curled up her button died? I was just trying to be nice and buy her a drink. That was a pleasant little shopping spree. I certainly paid enough. <laughs> so tell me, when do I get to meet the elusive Mr. Harry? Back off, you vulture! She's not giving any interviews. Is it true that someone is stalking her? No! I told you no! It's all a stupid rumor. Nothing happened. How many times do I have to tell you? Now leave us alone. Let's go, Anna. Oh, I'm so sorry. Anna, sweetie, time is money. We got Okay, I'm coming. All right, tomorrow you'll be a live guest on Run Run Light Morning TV at 8 a.m. After that, you have a magazine interview, then you've got an 11 a.m. call for your 1 p.m. performance, and finally, you have the rehearsal we missed tonight. Aye, aye, Captain. You're the boss. Anna, you're an angel. Tomorrow will be a tight schedule, so hang in there, huh? No problem. Oh, hey there, Miss Anna. Working late again, I see. You need to take it easy and not work yourself so hard. Oh, thank you, Superintendent. That's sweet of you to say. <laughs> I'm fairly certain we'll get our asking price. Well, he hesitated at first. Right. Very interesting group of people this time. I use the pen to record everything. <gasps> what is it? It's nothing. This sounds like sensitive material. Return as soon as possible. I will. That girl. <sighs> what? I'm Anna Kitagawa's bodyguard? Yep. What? 
torture me? The manager specifically requested you. I have no idea why anyone would. Man, All that I can't stupid, believe cheesy really pop star crap this is gonna crazy drive me nuts. Why pick, pick me? You? Why torture me? Look, I don't know. Anna specifically requested you. There's that gotta fluffy be gets must be plotting this, something. Though. Why, why pick, pick me? me? Oh, great, huh? you're here. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I could hardly wait to start work as your personal bodyguard. Please do a good job protecting me. I'm just a helpless little pop star. Yeah, yeah, you'll be just fine. <sighs> huh? Hey, I'm thirsty. Go get me something to drink. Hmm? What are you, lame? Go get it yourself. But pop stars can't get their own drinks once they're in costume. Yeah, yeah. No sugar, don't forget. This job blows! Good evening, Tokyo! Tokyo. Are, are you, you ready, ready to have fun? fun? Yeah! Yeah! This job blows! Thank you very much. Thank you all for coming. This job blows! Hey, I could use something to drink. Oh, Here, it's sugar-free. But now I need sugar. I'm beef. Not your maid! Huh? <laughs> it's showtime! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll never do it again. Please stop, what's happening? She must have the pen on her. Huh? Um, oh? Excuse me. Please, please, Miss Anna. May I have your autograph? Um, sure. Please, I need to use you with all my love from Miss Anna. Jeez, all this fuss over a stupid autograph. Are you kidding? Miss Anna is a superstar, and you could sell her autograph for a lot of money. A lot of money? Be careful you don't smudge it. No problem. But aren't you sure it's okay to copy an autograph? As soon as I told Rio it was worth something, she went into a frenzy. I didn't dare say no to her. <laughs> when money talks, Rio listens. Well, let's get to work. <laughs> as long as Anna wasn't using one of those pens with DNA encoding, these copies will be exactly the same as the original. Wait, what's that? Our first product is a Cyrex anti-torpedo missile. What is going on here? You shoot a drama on location at 5 a.m. tomorrow, then we have a meeting about your new song. In the afternoon, you have an autograph session and then a costume fitting. After that, you have the rehearsal you canceled yesterday, and then your guest spot on Happy Afternoon Quiz Show. Wow. <laughs> Tomorrow's gonna be crazy for you. Oh well, that's the price of fame. You're gonna be there too, Rio. What? I gotta be on some stupid set at 5 a.m.? That is what bodyguards oh, do. No way! No freaking way! Oh, 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 hey! I can't take it! Hey! 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 I think I'll just walk home from here. Me and my bodyguard will be just fine, won't we? What are you doing? Okay, see you tomorrow. Be careful! <sighs> Why did you want to walk from here? Hey, you know, I I'm thirsty. Why don't you get me a drink? Sure, you want sugar-free or with sugar? 100% fruit juice or just plain soda? You want a can, do you want a bottle? Hmm. Okay, I just got you a buttload of drinks. You can pick whichever one you want. Wait, where'd she go? Huh. <gasps> Rio? I'm 
a lovely little songbird, and you're only meant to sing for me. That girl is such a pain in the ass. <laughs> sing for me, my little songbird. <laughs> ah, you bitch! You little whore! I'm gonna make you pay. <laughs> Mama, you fanboy freak! Get back here! Ah! No! No! Please don't leave me here! Let go of me, you yodeling idiot! The stalker is getting away! No! Please don't leave me here alone! Please! Okay. The next item we have is the anti-super stealth missile. The minimum price is sixty million dollars. Sixty million dollars? No way! That's outrageous! I speak for both Harry and myself in saying that we only want to provide you with the best product. Someday I'd like to meet this Mr. Harry. That was it. The man on this tape is known as Agran Hush. There are several other terrorists on this film. It suggests an international weapon smuggling operation. Hmm. These images were recorded using the new liquid memory particle system. And what exactly is that? The recording mechanism takes visual and audio data, mixes them with the pen's ink, and can transfer them to paper. The paper can later be analyzed and the images replayed. Any terrorist organization with this capability is quite powerful. If terrorists begin operating in Neo-Tokyo, our reputation is shot to hell. Ah, this is unacceptable. So, you'll let us handle this? Oh, all right. Warrior has jurisdiction on this issue from now on. Excellent. Now let's talk money. Our guests have finally departed. We should be on our way as well. You go ahead. What? But Mr. Harry is waiting for you. It won't take long. There's something I have to do. Come on, don't be such a wet blanket. <laughs> Let's get raucous. What is this place? Two warm sockies, my good man. Coming up. Hey, wait a second. Ah, you don't need those here. Smells like fish. Here you go. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I find it hard to believe that Anna Kitagawa is mixed up with the terrorist organization. That means the real owner of the pen will try to get it back from her shortly. Lilica, this is an emergency. Get Rio on the phone now. Roger. If you insist, I'll take another. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rio turned off her comm unit. Yuji, Maya, get over to Anna's apartment immediately. Roger! Is it okay to turn that off? It might be something really important. Ah, screw that. My job is to protect you. What could be more important than that? Come on, drink up! This stuff will put hair on your chest. You're so Ooh. awesome, big sister. Hey! You call me big sister? That's so cool! Drinks are on me! I envy you, Rio. You're so... free. I wish I could live my life like that. Bitch, bitch, bitch. What? Such a whiner. Here! All you have to do is party it up whenever you want and live however you like. I think you've got a point there, Rio. Hey, you need to drink up too. Oh, twist my arm. <laughs> Look at me go, I can really rock and roll. I'm the sexiest girl in the whole wide world. What's that song? It's terrible. <laughs> Never mind, it's just a song. You can sing whatever you want, whatever you feel like it. <laughs> sing whatever you want. What's the matter? I want to sing whatever I want, too. Huh? I can't do this anymore. I'm fake, and my songs are all fake. I didn't come to Neo-Tokyo to become this person. Well, why don't you sing whatever you like, then? Huh? Well, what are you waiting for? What's stopping you? All you gotta do is party, party it up whatever you want and live however you like. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right, girl. <laughs> yeah. Um, Yuji! What? Party it up whatever you want and live Rio. whatever you like. Yuji! <laughs> I salute your hard work and the... <laughs> you're, you're drunk, Rio. <laughs> Miss Anna Kitagawa, I need to examine the pen you used to sign that autograph for Yuji. Thanks. Oh, I have that right in here. <laughs> I think the owner of the pen just arrived. 
That bitch is no ordinary stalker. Real daughter, get that pen! Go, you're not safe here. Yeah. Wow, talk about your smoking bodies. Freeze, one more move in the pen is history. Go ahead, make your move, if you can. Try me. Hey, what the heck's going on out here? Oh, the super! Come inside, quickly! Hey, where do you think you're going, you freak? <sighs> Thank you for helping me out, Superintendent. Oh no, you don't get back here! This woman's a thorn in my side. She's no ordinary cop. I'll play with her a little. So Mother Destiny has finally brought you here to me. Only I can save you from the flood of sin. Come, I'll save you from the flood of sin. I'll save you. I'll save you. I'll Stop save it! You. Let me out! <laughs> Your fighting is competent. Yeah, blow me! <laughs> but you lack a closer's instincts. Uh, Rio! Huh? Rio! Uh, Maya! Yuji! Again. Well, actually, Rio, she wasn't a stalker. What? Then what about Anna? Where is she? <gasps> Go away! Go away! Won't you be my little songbird? Won't you sing for me? <gasps> Good to be the apartment super. Now you can listen to me, or you can listen to my knives. So sing for me. For them. I don't. I don't. For me. Sing only for me. I will sing. I will sing. Anna! the suspect escaped with the particle pen, so in actuality, our warrior mission was a failure. Hello? I captured the suspect! You captured a mere stalker. <sighs> I bet you wouldn't think it was no big deal if your apartment super turned out to be a nasty old fanboy. Here's your order, Miss Rio. Cool, thanks. Huh, I had no idea she sang country music. That was former pop idol Anna Kitagawa making her country music debut. Anna? You're kidding me! She really wanted to sing country music? Ah, she's pretty good. I speak for both Harry and myself in saying that we only want to provide you with the best product. I speak for both Harry and myself in saying that we only want to provide you with the best Who is this woman? She's as good on her feet as Rio. And she's got ties to an international weapons smuggling organization. That's all we know. I speak for both Harry and myself and see. Harry. Oh man! What good is having a day off from work when I don't even have any of that reward money to spend? This sucks. Well, hello there, beautiful lady. Do you mean me? 
How would you like to be a world famous idol? World famous? You can make a lot of money. Make money? Here, take this. Baby, I'm gonna make you a superstar. A superstar? I'm gonna be famous! Whoa! 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 We love you! Whoa! How many times do I have to tell you, Rio? I'm not your official supervisor. People will get suspicious if you keep showing up here all the time. But this is an emergency! Rio, with you, it's always an emergency. Let me guess. Money? <sighs> you have no idea how much it sucks to be me. I'm just a poor single girl living on a meager salary, barely scraping by day to day, and those bastards keep raising prices! Save your tears, Sarah Hartburn. I get the point. You want a warrior job. Well, it looks like we have three. Three gigs? Let me see. A shoplifter, pickpocket, and a peeping tom? Come on, Maki, these are so lame. Things have been pretty quiet around here. That's why all we have are regular unsolved crimes. And the reward? Small. <sighs> Interested? Yeah, okay, give me all three. By yourself? That's right. But the deal is, if I solve all three cases in 24 hours, I get 30% more. Okay, deal? Huh? Oh, all right. You've been running around like a lunatic since the first time I met you. Hi, welcome to Piggy Mart. What can I do for you? Hey, hey, what are you doing? Shut up! Do what I tell you, or I'll slit your stupid throat. Quick, put all the money from the register into this bag. I said hurry, bitch! I am hurrying. We just have a lot of change, that's all. You idiot! I don't care about the coins! Just give me the bills! Are you sure about that? I really think you ought to take the coins, too. They're really helpful for paying sales tax and putting money in parking meters. I don't ever have to pay for things, let alone the sales tax. Really? I always pay mine. What the hell? <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Where's all your fancy talk now, Mr. Tough Guy? You still want to slit my throat? That's right. No one holds up this convenience store. Not on Rio Kinizono's watch. Ow, my arm. So, is he with you? Huh? No, I was just trying to... Oh, crap. The cubs are coming. I can't let them see me here. Ow! Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Hold still. <laughs> there. <laughs> Gotta go. Wait. Miss you... Listen, you never saw me. You caught this guy and tied him up all by yourself, okay? Good. Hey, wait. Thanks for shopping, Peggy Mart! What the hell is going on? Huh? Police Town, Neo Tokyo Metropolitan Police? Department of Investigation? She's an officer? For the ruffian. Jeez, huh. Miyuki, you almost made me wet my pants. So I guess your second job kept you up late again last night? And I have to be all perky when those drunks come stumbling in the store in the middle of the night. But well, hello there. I'm getting paid minimum wage to put up with you losers. God, my life sucks. What did you blow your salary on this time? 
necklace, boots, sunglasses, silk underwear, new dress. Which was it? Well, see, there was this makeup, but it was on sale. But I wasn't gonna buy it, honest. But, but then I thought, hey, this lipstick would look great on Miyuki. And when you're gonna get one, then you might as well get a whole bunch, right? And then I realized we need the matching eyeshadow because lipstick without eyeshadow is like a car. <laughs> Rio, you gotta remember, we aren't in the academy anymore. You really need to stop burning the candle at both ends. Don't you worry, your pretty little head. The whole Rio will be just fine. Hey, I got an idea. Let's go out and sing some karaoke just like the old days. <laughs> Remember when we were in the academy? We used to sneak out of the dorm room in the middle of the night. We'd have rocking karaoke parties till dawn. Yeah, we'd forget about all our boring classes and sing cheesy love songs till we lost our voices. Then we'd step off at that ramen shop on the way mm. back to the dorm. <laughs> Man, that was good. Those were the days, huh? Yeah, but we'd get caught almost every time and end up having to do the laundry for the entire dorm. I've seen more of other people's oh. underwear than Hugh Hefner Jr. Speaking of which, oh. do you still wear those panties with the little bears on them? Are you kidding? I practically live in those things. Just the other day, I went out and got eight new pair with the winking bear on them. <laughs> you can have the purple ones if you want them. Actually, I'm more of a pink bear kind of girl myself. <laughs> hey, I'll take the purple ones if you don't want them. Okay, then it's settled. Pink for you and purple for him. Huh? Hey, Miyuki. Introduce me to your friend. <laughs> That's Yuji from the Traffic Riot Squad. I am Yuji Nario. I am completely in love with you, so I must tell you. You've got the sexiest legs I've ever seen! Mm, so sexy! Miyuki, is this guy your senior officer? Yeah. Miyuki, where the hell have you been? I've been looking everywhere. Uh, yes, ma'am. This isn't social hour. You're eight and a half minutes late for patrol duty. I apologize, ma'am. See you later. Have fun. I really apologize. I'm putting you on report. Guess it sucks to be Miyuki, too. She's got the harpy from hell and this pervert to deal with. <laughs> Those legs! <laughs> Rookie! Why the hell are you always late every day? I was assaulted by a ruffian this morning. Do you encounter this ruffian every morning? Oh, did I say the same thing yesterday? Uh, maybe you should think up a different excuse next time. That really happened today. But he was more of a molester than a ruffian. Though. Hey, rookie! We're out of toilet paper. Do you want to chop our butts? I'll go hey. buy some right away. Go to go! You don't have to go buy it. You just have to fill out this request form. Uh. Uh. Damn. Rookie. Ryuki Nizono graduated from the 84th class at the Academy. Evaluations are as follows. Behavior, D. Ability to adapt. D. Reasoning ability, D. Administrative ability, D. Hmm, was I wrong in choosing her? Hmm, very interesting. Hmm, all I ever get to do is crap work. I want to see some real action soon. Drop it. Now. Good. Now take it easy and no one gets hurt. <gasps> oh, crap! <coughs> Damn it! Where the hell did she go? I'm not done with you yet, you freak! She didn't do too badly. 
You know, I think we're gonna be able to use her somehow. <laughs> oh, this is boring. All right, listen up. Don't make any sudden moves or I'll waste everyone, got it? Maki Kawasaki? Yes, Ryo. She has something she wants to talk to you about. I, I wonder, wonder what, what I she did. did. Huh? Ryo Kinazono reporting as requested! You dropped this? Nice to see you again. You are really Highness. hard up for Please. money, aren't you? Yeah, maybe just a little. There are much more interesting and rewarding ways to earn extra cash. Huh? All right, let's move out! Warrior? I've recruited police officers with extraordinary talent to form this elite group. We specialize in covert operations and large-scale crimes, which are usually more than the ordinary police forces can handle. No one, except the Metropolitan Police Chief, knows of its existence. And the extra cash? What are we talking? The reward varies depending on the difficulty of each job. That means that the harder the case is to solve, the more money you make. Naturally, ordinary police officers couldn't get involved in such a way. It requires a person with very special skills, like you. Let's see, the color of the chalk turned red. To fill out the parking ticket, I put down the make of the car and the license plate number. I also need to stamp it. Ah! I need, ah! huh? Where are you going? Oh, I am so sorry. Did we park our car legally, Officer Beautiful? One of your warrior dorks shot at me? I can see how that might upset you, but I needed to test out your ability to think under fire. You passed the test. So, how would you like to join Team Warrior? Test or no test, I still don't like being shot at like a carnival bear. Typical upper management BS. You sit behind a desk all day and have no idea the danger real field officers face every day. Let's face it, your biggest worry is you might get a paper cut from your morning newspaper. Besides, I don't work well with a team. I'm a loner, Maki. A real rebel. I see. I'm sorry to hear that. Anyway, I probably would have had to put in a lot of unpaid overtime. I bet she was just going to exploit my talents without paying what they're worth. Those higher-ups make me huh? The suspects are entrenched in an old abandoned building. Get over there immediately. They need backup. Right, right away, away, sir. Huh? What the heck is going on here? It's got nothing to do with you. Make us some tea. Wait a minute. I'm a police officer too, you know. <laughs> Sir, we have the name of the policewoman who was taken hostage. It's about time. Hostage? A Miyuki Fujidera from the Department of Traffic Control. She was writing a ticket when she was abducted by the suspects. Miyuki. Poor kid. A group of common criminals have taken one of our officers hostage. If we don't rescue her, our reputation is shot. This mission must be successful. Roger, Chief. You're surrounded! Huh. As long as we have one of their piglets here, they'll leave us alone. The suspects are on the top floor. Is the building's computer system still operational? About 70%. Can you access it? I think so. Do it then. When I give you the signal, I want you to engage the protective shutters on the top floor. Nonville, 
You prepare the tear gas, Maya. You go in the chopper with Yuji. I want you to shoot a canister into the top floor after the shutters are locked. Then, you're a go for hostage retrieval. Let's roll. What the hell do you mean, stand by? We just got word from the top. All units stand by. We're trying not to agitate the suspects. Besides, we're trying to buy time so we can formulate a plan. Give me a freaking break. But we're wasting time, Miyuki might be... Miyuki! <clears throat> Don't come any closer, or this little piggy gets it in the head! Do you understand? Do you hear me? I'm warning you! Back off! I made it into the system. I'm ready when you are. Yuji, take your position. Please calm down, miss. Take it easy with that thing. Out of my way, spud nuts! Okay, it's almost time to do this. Hold on a second, look over there! special order for the police to stand down and wait. What's she doing in the car dealership? Who knows? Hmm, I wonder. Hang on, I'm coming, Mew! <laughs> a little work. Try this. That club is a Team Warrior special. Just let us worry about taking out the garbage. You go in and rescue the hostage. Shoot them! right now i'll kill her i mean it what are you waiting for do it do it rio don't worry about me pulverize this dumb bastard shut up bitch You're my precious little partner, right? Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark. You know you're gonna get transferred now, don't you? I just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think? Being a team player isn't all that bad, huh? 
I guess not. If you had been up there by yourself, you'd be dead right now. And if we had gone through the regular police channels, they would still be in negotiations. Warrior is the best bet for resolving these situations. Am I right? I guess so. I mean, yes, ma'am. You're not an official member, but your contribution can't be ignored, so it's only fair that you split the reward. I've already wired your share into your account. Here's the balance. <laughs> so much money! It was just burglary this time, so it isn't much. But a murder case brings three times as much, and terrorism <laughs> even more. I'll bring you my resume first thing in the morning! <laughs> well, seeing as how you always prefer to work alone, I wouldn't want to twist your arm. No, 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 don't say that! I'm, I'm, I'm as strong as a lion! I'll, I'll do anything! I, I can swim the whole sea! I can... Well, I'll looks like the... money talks. Oh, yeah. Maki sure knows how to push people's buttons. Oh, I am so glad you used my laser beam. Was it a little too strong? A laser? Oh, you didn't use it. Here. <laughs> Strong. We can't use that thing in combat, you moron! Who are these people? What kind of a loony bin have I gotten myself into this time? I'll live! <laughs> hmm, Rio's as wild now as she was back then. Yahoo! Hmm? Here you go, three slime balls tied to order! <laughs> Already? I'll take my reward now, please. <laughs> Alright, here you go. <laughs> Bargain sale? You guys never stood a chance. Too bad. Miyuki, please! I said no! You've got to help me, Miyuki! My bills are due! I just need a little bit! You've got plenty of money here! It's for everyone's salary! Miss Miyuki? Huh? We finished the calculations you asked for. Thank you so much. Well, you rookies certainly are cheerful. Yes, because, because Miss Miyuki takes good care of us. Well, now, isn't that special? <laughs> Miyuki, I want to be taken good care of. Senior Officer Ryo will instruct you on how a proper police officer is supposed to act. Huh? Thank, Thank you, you very much, Miss Ryo. Oh, crap! Oh, man, I can't believe Miyuki's making me babysit these two toddlers. What a... <gasps> hey! How would you two like to take part in a real police investigation? <gasps> Do you mean it? We'd be very honored. Miss Rio, we put on our bathing suits like you asked. But what does this have to do with the investigation? Open your minds. When you do undercover work, you have to dress accordingly to blend in with your surroundings. For example, if you were at the beach, you would naturally wear a bikini, am I right? Oh, no, I get it. Besides, if the suspect is male, your body will be the perfect bait to lure him into your trap. Am I right? Oh, of course. Okay. You're at the beach on a summer assignment. You're trying to attract the attention of your suspect any way that you can. Roger! Roger. <laughs> That's great! Keep it up! That's right, keep up the good work, girls. The public safety is in your hands. I know I shouldn't give Rio any more money, but I can't just leave her hanging like that. Huh? <laughs> oh, I've never done anything like this before. Maybe I can be sexy. How's this? <laughs> <laughs> Step right up, sexy young girls posing in barely their bikinis. Only 2,000 yen. Rio, you're unbelievable. Come on, boys, you don't want to spend that money on donuts right this way. Long time no see, Patrash. Going away again this year, huh? Yes. Please look after him. I should only be gone for about three days. Did you know that Maki is taking three days paid vacation starting today? Yeah, taking a shopping trip to Neo Hong Kong is pretty cool, but who's gonna run Warrior now? We need some cash. I think I know the reason why she goes to Neo Hong Kong around this time every year. Give us the dirt. Well, 
I heard that she... Who cares? I just want to shoot some guns! If I don't get to shoot something soon, I'm gonna... Take it easy! We can enjoy a stress-free workplace for the next three days! When the mouse is away, the cats will... How the hell do you mean get in here, you pervert? Oh, my God! One bone with a piece of flesh still on it. Two large pieces of flesh and five small pieces. Multiple blood marks on the wall. I collected a few different sets of fingerprints. There were two large and three small pieces of fiber in the valve. Okay, you can go ahead and move the toilet now. I'll collect the pieces stuck in the pipe. Uh, there's a lot down there. I'm gonna uh, barf. I can't believe that as soon as Maki leaves, there's a murder inside Police Town. I can't believe it's a real murder case. Let's wait for the lab results before we decide. It could be a trick. Do you really think some weirdo came all the way to this ladies' room just to play tricks? Huh? Well, I think this is the result of a complicated office love affair. The couple's passion exploding erotically all over the restroom. Guess what's about to explode next? Um, I'll bet I won't like it. <laughs> Deluxe lunch for all of us, Yuji's buying. Coming right up. So, what did you do this time? Don't ask. It was nothing. <laughs> oh, good stuff. So tell us, Miyuki, what was the first thing you saw when you walked into the restroom? Well, it... it was dark and I couldn't see very well. There was water everywhere, like someone broke a pipe. And there were red stains and what looked like bone. And there was something disgusting floating in the water. I was scared to death, but I tried to look, and it smelled like something had died. Well, that, that's enough. Now I've lost my appetite. Ugh. I shouldn't have ordered the kimchi ramen bowl. Listen up. We can solve this thing. Look, a murder case brings about... Let me see. One, two, three. 6,000 yen! We can do this! But we're not even sure this is a murder case. Don't be such a wuss, Miyuki. A practical joke isn't worth crap money. A murder case is where the real bucks come from. I'm sorry, Miyuki. Leo's gonna make this no one a murder whether it is or not. She must be running low on money again. So! I'll solve this murder case. You just leave it to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You are. Thanks for waiting. It's nice to have you back again this year. I'll give you a discount on the bouquet, Miss Kawasaki. Thank you, Miss Tai. They're lovely. Torrid love triangle, or no neck ripped him apart with his bare hands, or even Dork Boy here could have had trouble keeping it in his pants. Everybody looks suspicious to me. Sheesh. Hey, Toots. Huh? Your work here is that ass just for show. The ladies' room is that way. Who said anything about taking a dump? This is an emergency. Someone kidnapped my sweet little dog. Whoa, kidnapped. So let me get this straight. His name is Ta. Well, his real name is Tatsuya. Hmm. He is eight years old and he was kidnapped. And they haven't contacted you yet. Ah, you make my ass itch. What? Oh. I had no idea there were so many Don Juan detectives and Casanova cops on the force. We've got to narrow this search down somehow. Oh, 
darn that Rio for making me do all the boring crap work. I need a break. Time to feed the caffeine habit. going so fast but officer huh? the ah! baby's here ah, it's coming <laughs> the baby it's coming ah, what are you well, doing? congratulations <laughs> now let's see your license and registration here so you do this much no this was the first time I wasn't born yesterday I'll just check out your permanent record What? What the hell? What? He disappeared around three hours ago when I looked away only for a second. Poor little bugger didn't even come back here for his lunch. Must be starving by now. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. Okay, if your little baby's still missing, why don't you come back tomorrow? We'll fill out some more forms. Okay, bye bye. Where's my rectum? I'll tell you where you can shove those forms, you. Jeez. Everyone knows a lost child ain't worth squat. Don't come back unless you have a real kidnapping or someone steals your dentures. Okay, let's go see if they got the goods on the ladies' room murder case. Hey, where'd everybody go? I swear, I turn my back for one second and they all start slacking off. Who's slacking off? <laughs> you scared me! Wow, I didn't think you'd spook so easily, Rio. Hmm? Oh my huh? goodness! What the hell is going on here? What's wrong? Someone must have broken in. Maybe a virus. It can't Warning. be. Data failure. Hey, what's going Warning. on? We're getting in here data. What's taking so Warning. long? We need that data. Our data's being raised. What's happening? What the hell's Warning. going on? Data data up our what's going on? All right, we need to do an intensive search of this area. First, there was the murder in the ladies' room. Then someone broke into our information room and messed with our data. Something is seriously wrong in police town. Sir, the target hasn't shown any sign of movement. The pattern is the same as last year. I'll continue watching her, sir. Hmm. Let's see. So, there were two strange incidents in one day, plus a missing child. Well, the kid isn't gonna get me squat, but those other two cases should both get me 300 points each! That means a promotion! A raise! took all your information. Look, I am too busy to look for some dumb lost kid. Don't do that crap, you stanky meter maid! Listen! 
Listen, bitch, I've got a lot of things on my mind right now, okay? So is this why I pay taxes? So you can get a boob job? Hey, baby, these are 100% me. Just because your boobs droop down to your knees doesn't mean everyone else's do. What'd you say? It's gone, it's gone. My precious collection of Rio videos has been swiped. Where is it? Where is it? The one where she jumps up and down all over me? The one where she beats me to a pulp? The one where she flips me the bird and calls me a perf? The optical magnetic tape I stored the mom is gone! GONE! I can't find my earrings! My compact is missing too! Oh no! What happened to my lipstick? My Olympic gold medal is missing! Where is my expensive mail-order magnetic necklace? Has anyone seen my tweezers? you all here today is to discuss today's incidents. We've got the police town ladies room murder, the mystery of the information room, the consecutive robbery case, and the totally unimportant lost child case. In case of the clap you got. Now, now. Hey, quiet in front. Sorry. <clears throat> well, let me give you my theory on how these incidents all tie together. I call it the kleptomaniac murderer who loves to mess with our data theory. It's a classic tale of love. Tragedy and data. Through my extensive research, I have determined Here we go. who the suspect is. I think we all know is. where this is going. Someone's been watching old detective movies. She really loves the daytime soap operas, doesn't she? Will you shut up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Let's begin then. The first case was reported this morning. It was a brutal crime, denying any type of logical explanation. The next one was that kid thing, so totally forget about that. Then the suspect broke into the police town database and screwed it all up, affecting the entire station. We still do not know his purpose in doing this, but we do know he left the same funky junk on the computer that he left in the bathroom. Finally, we have the devastating consecutive robbery case. Oh, please. It wasn't that big a deal. Well, Rio made it into one. She has a talent for blowing things out of proportion. Put a sock in it! Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> These incidents may seem unrelated at first, but they are all interconnected according to my brilliant deductions. All of the incidents occurred here in Police Town, so the suspect is someone who knows the station very well. In other words, he's an insider, a police officer. The suspect most likely had a steamy inter-office romance, but he must have argued with his lover and he wound up killing her. The suspect calmed down after a while, but became very agitated. So he came up with the perfect crime. He would use his position in the department to sneak into the information room and delete any data that might link him with the victim. The suspect is still going about his daily duties right here in police town. He's right under our noses, people! So, anyone got questions? Hmm? Oh. Okay, what the hell is the problem? So who's the friggin' suspect, Rio? Rio, wasn't that just a bunch of crap you made up? Do we even know who the victim is? What about the yucky stuff in the bathroom? Hey, this is exactly the same as a soap opera I saw last week. Where's my job? Where's my friggin' baby? Uh, I don't know. But still, it's a pretty good theory, don't you think? You should stick to making tea, rookie. Oh, come on! It's an interesting theory. Hmm? Your hypothesis of tying all the crimes together is an interesting one. 
but your profile of the suspect is completely wrong. Oh, is that so? <laughs> Who the hell is this Yoko? He's Masuoka from Profiling. Oh, wow! So would you care to share the professional profiler's point of view? Of course. First off, since we haven't found a body yet, it's foolish to assume that the victim was female simply because the location was the ladies' room. And why must the suspect be male? A man leaving the ladies' room would look suspicious to anyone. It's more likely that the suspect is female. For the suspect to cut the body into pieces, she must be very strong. Also, considering that she committed three infractions in one day, she's probably more brawn than brain. The stolen items were mainly accessories, so you can assume that she likes flashy things and is loose with money. Sounds like someone we know. It was Rio. Come on, that's just silly. Now that I think about it, you were waiting alone in the information room when I returned, weren't you? And I remember you asked me once how much my gold medal was worth. And you were somehow excluded from the list of suspects, Rio. Did, Did you? you? What? God, no! Are you saying that I had a part in all of this? Ah! Oh, you bitch! My optical-magnetic tape! My earrings! My lipstick! My gold medal! My tweezers! My necklace! Everything that was missing is in here! Hey! <laughs> Try not to drop your soap, rookie. Look at good Rio! Babe's in prison. You're still gorgeous. Why didn't you talk to me before things got this bad, Rio? But I swear I didn't do it. You gotta believe me! All she did was throw a bouquet. Right. She's made contact with no one here. And she's done nothing with any of the people in her tour group. I see. Good job. It's me, regarding the status of the project. Mm -hmm. Be careful she doesn't find out about this. Yes, I'll make the arrangements. <laughs> this is a cross-section of typical male cells. It's almost a triangular shape. And this is a female cell sample. As you can see, it's more of a hexagon shape. Now look at this. This is a sample of the hair we found at each location. Mm, it's almost like a male cell, but not really. Is Rio a hermaphrodite? Is she an alien? No, no. Her hair sample is totally different. But, but that, that means... That's right. The real suspect is still in police town. Therefore, I suggest you all get moving and try and catch it. I'm going to bring my recruits next year. Maybe one day they can fill the void that you left. Masato. I hate dark and narrow places. Come on, you're doing it for Rio. Now turn left what at else? the next vent. There are three shots left in this tank, so you'll have to reload after you fire them. Got it? I got it. Oh, gross! I've discovered a spore. It's still fresh. I'll head that direction. There you are, ma'am. I've been looking all over for you. I'll help you find your little ta. Too late. I don't need your help now, Four Eyes. Oh. Ma'am, wait. Okay, the target is heading toward the final location. Hold on, I'm coming. Here it comes. Oh, God. Five feet. Four, three, two, one, zero. Ah! Ah! Oh. You didn't have to shoot me, too! Mission accomplished. Watch those hands, Four Eyes! Ta! I'm so happy I could squirt! That's, That's Ta? ta? <laughs> Your little Ta is a crow? Oh, so that's what happened. That little bugger must have taken the bone I used to flavor the ramen soup and carried it off. And he was eating it in the ladies' room. Then he flew into the information room and played with my keyboard. Then he took our shiny objects and made a nest in Rio's locker. He can be a royal pecker, but he doesn't mean anyone any harm. Oh, that's quite all right. We're glad he's home safe and sound. Thank you all. I appreciate your help. Order anything on the menu. It's all on me. Yay! I'll have a large order of roast pork rice.
coming! I'll have a gyoza and fried rice. Lilica, I just got back in. Yes, no, nothing happened. It was pretty quiet around here. Yes. So, we'll see you tomorrow? Hope you brought some souvenirs. Oh, I get the feeling we're forgetting something. Oh, I'm starving. And I really have to pee. Oh. Come on, guys. Take it easy, Petrash. I promise I'll feed you in just a second. I'm sorry. 